Dewit. Dewit. Barrister, please, you just have to help me try so I won't lose the case. I don't want my brother to go to jail. I always tell my clients, I like you to keep a very positive mind. Okay. Just don't worry. Leave me to do my job. And I assure you, God on our side, we will win the case. Okay, um, but, but what about if I don't have those evidences you required of? So what do we do? How do we go about it? And that means I'll have to make do with the little that you've given me. I'll have to build my case, do investigations on my part and see what I can do. But with the little you have given me, I'm sure we can build the case. Okay, um, can I really trust or count on you? Can What's I? my name again? Barrister Tricia. Exactly. Don't worry. I've never lost the case and I'm not about to start now. I believe, I believe we'll get victory. With God on our side. So. Thank you so much. God You're bless welcome. you. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you very much. All right. God bless you. I'm sorry I came late. Trisha, still not explaining why you're coming back this late. No, babe, I told you now. I told you I had a meeting with clients and they were very important. I couldn't shift them. No, don't make me look like I'm some jobless man who stays at home all day waiting for his wife to get back. I also have work unattended to. I left that work just to be here with you. See, this is not an issue. It's not an issue. I don't see the issue here. It doesn't matter who comes home first, who does the chores, or who cooks the meal for who. You should be happy that your wife is doing good. Like, I'm making enough money for you and I. There we go. It's all about money. I'm happy. I am. I am. I am. And I'm, I'm, you know, that's why I give you all the support that you need. Thank you. Yeah, but babe, listen. I know that you're a famous lawyer who's never lost a case. But don't let the trappings of your job make you neglect your home and your family. You got jealous in a sense. What did you just say, Trisha? Oh. No, 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 excuse me. What did you say? Have you forgotten that I was the one who paid for your training? Till you passed out of law school and you were called to the bar. I married you. Not some famous lawyer who's only concerned about her job, career, fame, and money. I want my wife to take care of my needs as a husband. Not some lawyer who's unconcerned about her home and her family. Okay, so are you saying that I'm the reason we don't have kids? Is that what you're saying? If you were paying attention, you won't ask me this question. Because the doctor was not speaking in parables. He wasn't talking from both sides of his mouth when he asked that we dedicate a special time to be with each other. But what do you do? No, you come back late every day. Not only do you do that, you order cancerous food online, and then you bring your work home, and you don't give us time to spend with each other. You're looking at this from the negative point of view. Like, just give me a little time to make all the money that needs to be made, especially now that I'm at the peak of my career. Then I can stabilize my career and the home front. Get a maid that can deal with the house chores while I give you overtime. Yeah, well, I'm hungry. Look at the time. And I don't want all those things that you order online. I want food made in my kitchen. But I already ordered food and I can't send it back now, babe. What? I... See. Hello? Oh, you're here? You're downstairs. Okay, I'm coming. Yes, I'm on my way. Hold on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The heart of man is so deep. You cannot tell what it holds. No. 
the one you found can hurt you tomorrow. Hey. This came just in time, okay? Make do with this tonight, and then tomorrow I can whip you up something. Yes. No, but I hear you say that every day, and I'm not going to listen to you tonight because I'm having dinner with Andrew and his family. Babe, 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 no, no, you will not do that to me. Listen, I'd rather go into the kitchen and whip you something now than watch another woman feed you. Just, just, just wait, wait, let me just go into the kitchen. Hurt you tomorrow. Ah, smart the woman. Ones you hurt today can hunt smart you woman. tomorrow. My bro, I really, really feel for her, man. I swear. She lost both parents on the same day. Man. That's tragic, man. Man, that's tragic. Man, even when I heard about it, I didn't believe. I don't believe her, but. Well, I pray God gives her the strength to, to put up with this, this whole thing. When last did you hear from her? Bro, I don't, I don't know. I've been trying to reach her, but her number is not connecting. Man. I hope she's okay, though. I just, I just hope you'll be able to reach her soon. Hey, baby girl, what's good? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm in my friend's place. Yeah, I'm in Tommy's house. You know I miss you too, right? Why not come to Tommy's house? Okay, fine. Fine, I'm coming. Love you. Bro, I need to go now, man. You see yourself. You know if you come ask me, just sit down one hour. You want to go. What Tell that, me, you don't say you won't go. What time you do, you be babe? I'll go see later, Jerry. Sure, sure, sure. Or rather, we have a very good case based on what you just narrated to me. Let's just pray that there's no angle you're missing. If not, we will be smiling to the bank. Really? Yes. They don't call me Trisha or Bart for nothing. I have never lost any case in my 10 years practice as a lawyer. Wow. <laughs> That's why they say you're one of the best in town. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, just make sure that you do all that is necessary. You make the necessary payments and then just leave the rest to me. No, you don't have to bother about that. I will make sure I maintain my part of the baguette, okay? Mm -hmm. As we agreed. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, dear. Well, I better take my leave now. All right, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Where's this guy? Oh my goodness! My Daddy! Oh. <laughs> so, you're so beautiful. And you look good. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, where are you headed? Um, I actually booked a ride. I'm going to the movies. My ride is almost here. Oh, you know what? Let me just pick up something. I'll drop you off. You will? Cancel that ride. I'll pay for the charges. Sammy! Wait, just wait. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, please, please. bye. <laughs> Sammy. What? You have been asking me out since my university days. When would you ever get tired? I'll stop asking you out the day you accept my request. Mm, you. So that you can tell me to one of your sex stories. When <laughs> you are done, you just dish them and all of that. Hell no. No, no, no. See, listen. That was Sammy of the past. This is the new Sammy. I am more mature. I am more focused in life. And besides, I'm looking for a girl to marry. So. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations on that. I wish you good luck. There is no good luck without you. <laughs> <laughs>
Please let me be, Jerry. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. Where are you going? I want to go see your parents. Sammy, really? I, I have what? <laughs> what happened? You're not serious with this serious, boy. <laughs> Sammy, you're just too funny. <laughs> I know, yeah. You're funny. What if my dad is around and then he pulls up a gun on you? Hey, we we'll take you out. Hey. Mom. Mommy. How are you? Fine, Good evening, Good evening, Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, Mom. Oh, thank God you are back home already. And on time, too. <clears throat> Mommy, I was supposed to go to the cinemas, but then Sam brought me home. Sam is my friend from the university. Oh, I thought as much. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. Angel, please feed him something to eat and drink. Mommy, he's not here for that. He just wanted to stop by to say hello to you and Dad. Okay, Dad is resting upstairs. My Dad is resting upstairs. <laughs> okay. Well, nice to meet you, Ma. You're welcome. I think I'll be on my way now. All right. Okay. Thank you, Ma. Okay. All right. Okay. Take care. Okay, I'll be. Bye. Um, All right, bye. Okay, mommy. Just drop this inside. Okay. Lucy. Hi, Trisha. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. Good to I see know. you. Same here. You just left unannounced. Look at you. Looking all good and swimming in our friends. Really? Yes. Honestly, Trisha, you've made a name for yourself in this law firm. Mm. Almost winning all your cases and never losing any. Well, I'd like to thank God for that and my very supportive husband, of course. <laughs> anyway, how have you been? How is the chambers do? Good. From the way you sounded on the phone, you sounded like you wanted to talk about something very important. Yeah, Trisha, I need your advice. Okay. One of my clients is asking me to file a lawsuit against one of his friends that he claims to have unlawfully taken over his properties and businesses. And after interviewing him, for some reason I feel like he's lying. He's probably just trying to make me collect properties and businesses that, that I know he is. And this client has the money. He's willing to pay whatever amount I tell him as long as I can assure him that I'm going to win the case. Hmm. And what was your response to this person? You know such clients don't like to wait for so long. That's why I'm here. I need you to tell me what to do, Trisha. Right. Well, it's two things, okay? One thing I like to do, the second thing I really do not like to do at all. Oh, tell me. The first thing I like to do is check the cases in front of me and then just see how much they appeal to my conscience and what my possibilities of winning them are. Mm -hmm. The second thing I don't like to do is play God. I don't like to meddle in the affairs of men. So you just do your best as a lawyer and just leave the rest of God to play his part. <laughs> Thank you so much, Risha. Yeah, this has been so helpful. Okay, you know what? I'll be on my way now and I'll yes, I'll speak with you once I'm done talking with this okay. client. Okay. Uh, no problem. Not a problem. I'll see you soon. It was really, really good to see you, my darling. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye. Have a wonderful day. See you. Well. Be careful what you say. Hey, baby girl, what's good? Uh, why you keep asking me this? I said your friend forced herself on me. Oh, come on now. Yes, I paid her. I promise you I don't feel nothing for her. It's you, it's you I want, it's you. You know you're the sweetest now. She can never be as sweet as you. 
In fact, I should go check for my blood sugar. I should go check my blood sugar because I might be having diabetes now because of you. <laughs> my baby girl, you know it's you. Okay, fine. How much do you want? I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay, fine. How much? I'll send, I'll send it to you. I'll, I'll call you back. Okay? Take care. Sammy? Hi. What's up? Hope your food didn't get burnt. <laughs> no, it did not. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Well, if you know your guy is not coming back anytime soon. Yes, I, I, I know, I know. So you should still wait, right? Yeah, I will. All right. Hope your food didn't get burnt. So. No, 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 not at all. Okay. So, what's up with what we discussed? <sighs> Sammy, are you okay at all? Please, not just let's just not talk about that that topic, please. If me loving you means I'm not okay, then so be it. Why don't you just give us a chance? Let this love flow naturally. Why are you behaving like a kid? Sammy, do you realize that I am your best friend girlfriend? Oh. What kind of a friend are you? A friend who will backstab his own friend? Come off it now, please. Ah. I'm the kind of friend that goes for what he wants in a woman. And you have exactly what I want in a woman. I like you. I love you. Just let this thing flow. I'm crazy about you. Sammy, at this point, I have come to accept that you are sick in the brain. And you surely need a doctor. <laughs> at this point, I am going to die on top of your matter. And when I die on top of your matter, I go happy because then a happy ending be that. And I know when I die and go to heaven, God is going to accept my soul because I died because of an angel. <laughs> Don't touch me. Woman rapper. Excuse me. Hey, come on, Jade. I am, see, you don't know me. I will never give up. I must get you. <laughs> huh? Come on. This girl getting nice ass. So. Where's all good, Sean? Sweet girl. Thank you very much, my angel. Thank okay, you. Fine. <laughs> I'm okay. So, Oliver has not made up his mind to settle this issue with you amicably. Well, he has even filed a suit against me through that celebrated famous female lawyer. And is that Trisha? Yes. Oh my God, this is serious. That woman is his son. And she has never lost a case before. So I heard. <sighs> I never knew that it's going to go this far. So what are you going to do right now? Because the way it's going, it seems he has everything planned all together. Well, I'm going to see my lawyer immediately. And, uh, <sighs> let me just relax first. Let me go up.
babe. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm okay. How was your day? It was good. Ah. Ah. How was work today? It was good. Hope you made something for me to eat. Trust me. Okay. So, would you want to eat now? Uh, I'll uh, eat when I finish taking my bath. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, babe, there is something I want to discuss with you. Okay. Babe, it's about your friend Sammy. Honestly, you need to stop that guy from coming here. Babe, that guy does not see you as friend. You might be good to him, but he's not just good to you. Can you hear yourself? Wait, let me understand you. You're asking me to tell my friend to stop coming to my place. How petty can you be? Babe, I have my reasons. That guy is not just a good friend to you. Listen. And listen carefully. I won't say this again. You see this conversation? We're not going to have it again. You understand me? This should be the first and the last time you mention anything as regards my friend. Babe, I'm only trying to protect us. Please. I'm just coming back from work. Let me have my peace. <sighs> Babes, now. What is wrong with him? Babes! You, you don't understand what I'm saying. I was... Hello, Mr. Oliver. I'm fine. And you? Okay, um, I am calling for us to have a meeting in my office as regards to the um, lawsuit you want me to file for you. You couldn't even wait for me to get back to you. And what makes you think that this lawyer you contracted will be able to handle the case for you? Um, okay, it's, it's okay. It's okay, um, Mr. Oliver, it's fine. Um, good luck. Who is this she that Mr. Oliver is referring to? Why is he so confident in her? Could it be that he's trying to pull my legs or, or maybe he can't even afford my fee? You know what, I better go see Trisha. I'm around her area, so I should go to her office to go see. My barrister, I am so grateful for everything you have done so far. This gives me confidence that we are going to come out of court successful come next week. Um, it's always good not to anticipate losing and keep a positive mind, so. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Let yeah. me take my leave now. Bye. Enjoy, take. Bye. said you wanted to. I changed my mind. After seeing my client walking out of your office premises, or was Mr. Oliver as one for not here? Yes, he was here. What did he come here to do? Mm -hmm. Let me see. What is it you're after? I want to know what my client came to do in your office. Mm. It's obvious you're not in the right frame of mind, because if you were, you would know where your rights as a lawyer starts and ends. You don't barge into my office interrogating me like some police officer interrogating a common criminal. Secondly, you didn't tell me Mr. Oliver was your client. But I... You? But you're nothing. 
Okay? Take a walk and come back when you are in your right frame of mind. Are you asking me to leave your office? Well, you heard me. I wonder why Trisha would do this kind of a thing to me. How could she even steal my clients like that? Mm, that's actually bad of her. Oh, I wouldn't know why Trisha would do such. You know, she's supposed to be my best friend. Why would she even do this? Hmm. Okay, come to think of this. Did you tell her the client's name? Well, I, I didn't tell her the client's name, but I told her about the case. So she, she was just... Well then, we can't actually blame her. Are you trying to take her side? I'm not trying to take her side. What I'm just trying to say is that we can't really blame her because she wasn't aware that the client was yours. You know what? I think I want to be left alone. Look, sis, what I'm trying I to say... I want to be left alone. <sighs> All right, just take care of yourself. Barrister Trisha Albert. Um, did you just say Trisha Albert? Yeah. You don't have been away from business terrain for so long. With the look of things, I can see that things are thriving so well. Yes, all is well. <laughs> that is why I've achieved what I've achieved. Yes, and that's more reason why I'm here to, for you to account for me, for the business I handed over to you. You know, at least I need to know about the company, money and assets and liabilities. What are you talking about? Bernard, are you not going to account for me for the business I handed over to you and travel to study abroad? Which business are you referring to? I know so well. I am so sure that the whole world know that you couldn't survive in business. That is why you opted to go back to school. And I handed over my company to you to handle for me. Yes! Oliver, you did not hand over anything to me. You only allowed me to use your company name to run my business, and that is all. Really? Yes. Please, if there is a problem about that, you can get it back. I don't mind. For all you care, you can get it back. Because I, at least I can register another company name for my business. Is that how you want it? Good day, Oliver. Please, excuse me. You cannot tell what it holds. No. The one you have <clears throat> can have. 
Yes. So what is this? This is the registration documents that you gave me many years ago to run my business. This is the only thing that I owe you, Mr. Oliver, is in one form. See, in the magnanimity of my heart, and for conscience sake, I am going to transfer five million naira to you, at least, for allowing me to use your company name to run my business all through these years. So have it. Is this how you want it? I wanted us to settle this amicable like brothers who are running a joint business together. When it's not so, you know I handed you over my company to run for me while I go to school. And now, what you want to use to pay me back is to claim my company. You want to defraud a man that single-handedly brought you out of poverty. Stop it, Oliver. Stop it there. You lie. No. Oliver, you did nothing for me. The only thing that you did was to allow me to use your company name to run my business. Oh. Oliver. So this was your reason of all that you have been doing, right? Collecting money from me constantly when you were in school. Oh, Oliver. Oliver. You should be grateful that I trained you in school because the education that you have today, I gave it to you. I was thinking that at least you are going to come back. I was doing this for a brother or a friend that you are going to come back and appreciate it, not knowing that you go there to study how you are going to steal from me. Oliver, I am ashamed of you. <sighs> Bernard, you know when a dog wants to die, he doesn't perceive a smell. It wouldn't be nice for us to wash our dirty linens outside. You know that? But if this how you want it, so be it, okay? But don't say I didn't warn you, okay? Darling, I told you people have settled this issue long before now. I thought so too. But you see, he just came asking me to give account of the business, of all I've been doing for the past 10 years. And also asking for the assets and liability of the company to be given to him. So you want to collect everything you have achieved from you? Yes, he's a thief. Dad. See, he never believed that I would succeed in this business. Uh, honestly, Dad, I think at this point you should get a lawyer no, I know that uh, all Oliver needs is money. It's money. Like I said earlier, I have promised that I'm going to give him five billion naira, at least to re-establish re himself in a new business. Are you think that will solve the problem? I am not thinking. I know that. Respect to the Honorable Court, Your Honor, sir. I am Trisha Albert and for the prosecution. With profound respect to this honorable court, my name is Moses Jiani, sir. My humble appearance for the defendants, sir.
After listening to the prosecutor and defense counsel's argument, the witnesses and going through the documents presented here before me, this is my judgment. One, that Mr. Oliver is a one for is the CEO of Olive Nigeria Limited. Register with CAC with registration number 013486. Therefore, Mr. Bernan is to relinquish within 24 hours every asset and liabilities got in the name of Olive Nigeria Limited. Two, that Mr. Bernard served as sales rep and therefore still deserve his rights and benefit in the company as one. Three, that Mr. Bernard should vacate the house and hand over to Mr. Eze Mora Oliver, who is the chairman and CEO of Olive Nigeria Limited. And he should be warned to disease from referring to the company as his own. This is my judgment. Yes! Yes! No! Ah! Dad? No way! What is it? <sighs> Darling, I've told you you know how to go about this issue. You have no harm to yourself, please. So listen. Take it easy upon yourself. Take it easy. Just take it easy. Listen to me. I'm about to be stripped of everything that I've worked for. I mean. Everything that I've labored for, that I've achieved all these years, in a twinkle of an eye, by a man who I call my friend and a brother. It can happen. I can sit and watch this happen so that my enemies, well, they will mock me, they will laugh at me. Darling, let me be positive about this thing. Remember, we still have a chance to appeal. Appeal? You said appeal? Yes. When the court is coming any time from now to quit us out of this house, a house that I built with my hand and money, I can't sit and watch this happen at all. No way. It can never happen. No way. Daddy, I want you. I want you. Daddy, I want you. Just, just allow me to go. It's not now. You don't have the time. Talk to him now in this small place. Just give me a space of time. I will come up from this room. Then you can talk to him. Please, my daughter. Okay, ma'am. Please. Just, just, just take it. Just make sure that he's fine, please. The one you have can hurt you tomorrow. The ones you hurt today can hurt you tomorrow. Better be careful, cause someone might be following you. Be watchful, cause someone might be hurting. Dad, I actually think that. Daddy. Dad. Dad, I actually think that. Dad. Dad. Daddy. Dad. Dad! Be Daddy! What? what Dad! Dad! Mom! 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 Daddy! Wait! Daddy! 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 Mom! I don't know! He's not responding! I don't know! I don't know! Daddy! Oh my god! Mommy! Oh my God! Mommy, we need to take him to the hospital. Yes. Come here, come, come here, come, come here. Okay. Come here, come. Okay. Say that. You can't do this to me. Do not trample on the mercies and break their heart. You 
better be. There are actions and reactions. There are deeds and consequences. When someone shows you love, some gifts, some kindness, trample on the mercies and break their hearts. You better be. Nos. Nos. Yes, Dotto. Tell his wife to see me in my office and take care of the body. Fine, why did the doctor want to see me? I wouldn't know, ma, but you just have to go and leave him. Oh, no, please. Please, hope my dad is okay. Hope my dad is fine. Yes. Oh, okay, please let me take care of my mom. Mommy, I'll be back. Mom, mom, did you... Where, where, where is my mom? She was rushed to the intensive care unit. Why? She just fell off a few minutes ago. A few minutes? Okay, where? Because she needs to take her drugs. She's still here, but you can't see her. Why? What do you mean I can't see her? No, you just want to see her immediately. Calm down, man. Calm down. Please, don't waste seeing everybody. Where is my mom? Calm down. Just, just leave me. Leave me. Doctor, please, how is my mom? How is she feeling? And how is my dad? Is he okay? Um, calm down. Calm down. Do you have any other relative that we can talk to? Um, you can talk to me, sir. Please, how are they doing? I mean, you don't have an uncle. Sir, please. I am an only child, and I am old enough to take whatever information you're ready to give me now. How is my dad? Is he okay? Well, we've lost him. What do you mean we've lost him? Yeah. He couldn't make it. Doctor, my dad was... My dad is what? No, you can't say that. My dad can't die just like that. You know what? Where is my mom? Maybe I should just go talk to her. She would be in a better position to tell me the truth. Where is my mom? Um, Angela. Please, she has to take it easy. Where is my mom? <sighs> what? You lost that too.
just can't believe this. I can't believe that they've taken over my father's possession that he worked so hard for. Wait, I don't understand. Was there a court case on this house? Yes. And this was the exact same reason I lost my parents today. Because they couldn't stand it. They couldn't stand someone else living off their sweat. My mother couldn't stand it. My mother was a good person. It was a good man. And now this, he worked so hard, so hard. So hard to achieve all of this. And someone else just came in and, and took it away. Okay. Okay, come. <laughs> it's fine, okay? It's fine. Let's go to my place, okay? My home is your home. And you know that. Wow. Who do I live without my parents now? Everything is just happening so fast. Oh. <laughs> so fast. Angela, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Please. <laughs> Welcome to my small place. <laughs> um, the place is nice. You live alone. Yes, I do. But trust me, you're safe. Okay. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Um, why don't you come take your bath so I could prepare something for you to eat? I'm really not hungry. I just want to stay here and I don't want to have my bath. Okay. Please, just help me with your duvet. I'll be okay here. Why, why not? Sure. I'll be back. Are sure you don't want anything to eat? No, I'm fine. Okay. I'll see you later, man. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Hey. Hope you had a good night rest. Just managed to get some sleep. Um, I think I need to shower now. Please, can you help me with a t-shirt, toothbrush, something then, so I can just change it to something else. Okay, fine. Cool. I'll get it for you. Thank you. Um, when I bring it back, I will show you to the bathroom. All right. Thank you. Okay. This is the bedroom. I already kept a toothbrush for you there. Okay. And um, I'm coming. Um, this is the t-shirt you asked for. Thank you. So, um, you've not eaten since yesterday. I'm sure you'll be very, very hungry. So what would you like to eat so that I could get it for you? Yes, I'm hungry, but I don't have the appetite for food right now. Come on. I just went to shower, wash my undies, and then maybe I can get food later. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, like I said, that's the bedroom. Um, I'll be outside when you, if you need anything, just call me. Okay, okay. I will. Thank yeah. you. Cool. Take care. All right.
Okay. Angela, you know you're so sexy and pretty, right? Thank you. And you know I've always wanted you. Way back, way back from school, when I used to ask you out, when I used to tell you that I can't think without you, I can't, I can't. Anytime I just think about you, I just go insane. Angela. Uh, um, Sam, this is actually not the right time. Okay, I'm not in the right frame of mind. My mental health, my family, everything is just going crazy in my head, please. This is not just a Angela. Angela. Sam. I'm not crazy about you. Sam, come on, please. Angela, I want you. Sam, please. Wait, 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 wait. Angela. Sam, please. 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 You've been discharged. She'll see you soon. Doctor, how is she? Well, um, she's fine. She happens not to have uh, sustained too much injuries. Okay, um, the scan and other tests carried out came out well. So, um, so we had to give her some injections and drugs that will help her sleep well right. when she gets home. Okay. Um, does that mean she can be discharged immediately? Uh, yeah, of course, because we don't have any reason to keep her, all right? All right. So okay. She can go back with you when she rests well. All right. Um, am I to make any other payments? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, you have to sort the account with um, Nurse Abigail at the front desk. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve. Nice meeting you, um, Trisha Albert. Barrister. Trisha, <laughs> um, <right. laughs> uh, you already know who I am. Oh, come on. Who, who doesn't know uh, uh, esteemed um, barrister Trisha Albert? <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, you're thank welcome. Thank you very you're much. Welcome. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. that I am not interested. It is Tommy that I love, not you. Just agree for me first. Then you can love me later. I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let me love you all alone. Don't love me back. How about that? Sammy, you're not my kind of a guy. Yes, you are not my kind of a guy. But you're my kind of girl. Me. Rubbish!
once you hurt today can haunt you Um, welcome to my humble abode. Make yourself feel comfortable, okay? Thank you. Yeah. You can take your seat. Your house is nice. Thank you. Uh, just settle in, okay? While I go drop my bag and be back. Good evening, how are you? I am Angela. Um, yes, Mrs. Trisha, she, she brought me here. And... So you decided to employ a house help without my permission? Angela is no help, okay? Yeah, so who is she, your driver or something? She's the accident victim. Why is she in our house? Is this a hospital now? Why don't you just go and settle down first and then we can talk about it later. Yeah, okay? I want to talk about it now. Because I know this is how you strategically want to bring a house up into this home. See, it's far from that, okay? She's no help. Listen, I found out that she didn't have anywhere to go after she got discharged. And then when I inquired further, I realized that she just lost her parents a few days ago. I mean, I just want her to stay with us until she's fully recovered from the shock and she can go meet her family in the East. Okay, babes? Be careful, you can turn a good heart into a demon. Oh, there are actions and reactions, oh, there are deeds and consequences. When someone shows you love, some fear, oh, some kindness, do not trample on. Um, the doctors yeah. gave her some drugs and said she needs a lot of rest, so. I wanted to ask her some questions and be sure she's telling the truth. Yeah. Listen, my instincts tells me she's telling the truth. And they're never wrong. Plus, I took her to the police station to file a police report, so. Yeah, anyway, take her to the guest room. When she wakes up, we'll talk. Okay. All right. Is it about the ticket and reservations? Yes. Well, babe, I already told you now. Just tell me. I'll take care of the default. Call him and ask how much it is and I'll sort it out. Can you listen to yourself? Can you just listen to yourself? Why does everything with you have to be about money? Don't, don't, don't now. Don't now. What did I do now? What did I say wrong? Eh? Did I say... Please, can you stop nitpicking or misunderstanding every little thing I say? Anyway, I have to meet Mike at the lounge. He's waiting for me. And don't worry yourself about the defaults. Don't, don't worry about the cancellation of the flight to get an hotel reservation. I'll take care of that. But... 
这一些呢？This looks good. <laughs> yeah, Roma. Roma. <laughs> this is a beautiful spread. Oh my goodness, what is this? Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes good. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes good too. Mm hmm. Thanks to Angelo that assisted in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I hope she's not the one who cooked this food. No, but she assisted me in the kitchen. I'm sure she can make something better or even sweeter. Please do not let a stranger into my kitchen next time. And what are you doing here? I am. Um, I cannot believe that you allow this girl sit on the same table with us. Take your food and get out of here before I lose it, please. Uh, yes, sir. Going out today? I'm not going out till evening. So you're not going to work? Are you trying to remind me of our field trip to Dubai? Because you and I know that I went on leave for that trip. I'm so sorry, okay? But I have to go to work now. Just please help me keep an eye on Angela till I get back, okay? Till I get back, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye.
can turn a good heart into a deeper. Oh. There are actions and reactions. Oh. There are deeds and consequences. When someone shows you love, some care, some kindness, do not trample. You better be, be careful. careful, cause someone might be following you. better be watchful. Be watchful, cause someone might I didn't hear you knock. That's because you weren't listening. Come, sit. Come. Please, you need to leave. I need to dress up. Okay. Thank you. Oh, shh. Shh. Please, please, please just Relax. leave me alone. Relax. Leave me alone. Please. You're a smart girl. How you handle what happened here today determines how long you stay in this house. So let this be a little secret, okay? Now get dressed and meet me in the living room. Okay? Okay. Good. Don't keep me waiting. All the documents have been duly signed okay. and now you have full custody of the properties. Okay. I hope you've made all the payments into my accounts as agreed. Yes, yes, yes. I have transferred all the money to your account and uh, I will forward the receipt to your phone for confirmation. All right, sir. It was wonderful doing business with you. Thank you so much, my very sir. I appreciate all your efforts in winning this case to my favor, okay? Thanks so much. You're welcome, it's sir. It's good working on you, eh? You're welcome, Thank sir. you, thank you. All right, sir. Wow. Um, let me show you. Okay. Yeah. So why do you travel again? Okay. Oh, my darling, all these court proceedings that I have and all the clients that I have to meet, there was no way I could push them apart. How did your husband react to that? Mm -hmm. He has been bitter. I don't even think you can forgive or forget about it. I don't know how I can make it up to him. But you can. I was even thinking that both of you would lock yourself up in the room and spend seven quality days together. Let me see how this device aim will be achieved here. <laughs> you see, it's not that easy, okay? It is. Look, even if it's not easy, you have to find a way to make it easy. Your husband is still very young and handsome. If you don't take care of him, you see all these girls, they will help you. <laughs> Can't stop being funny. Oh, funny. Okay. Anyway, that's by the way. Who was the girl I saw in, the, in your house? That girl doesn't look like your household. Oh, she's no orphan, Angela. She was the orphan I knocked down in the road accident that I had. She didn't have anywhere to go, so I brought her home. Huh? You left that pretty young girl with your husband alone? Babe, so that's not even the challenge I'm having right now. 
The challenge in Marvin right now is he doesn't like that girl one bit. He doesn't even want to see her anywhere around the house. Can you imagine he asked me to restrict her to the guest room? The guest room. He doesn't even want to have her eating on the same table with us. Look, Trisha, you have to shine your eyes. Because what you're telling me here is not what I saw at home. This kind of thing usually started, I don't like the girl, chase her out of the house. And before you know it, something else will happen under your watch. Anyway, where are we going to celebrate the victory? How about Angel's Wings? That works. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just quickly pack up. Okay. Then we can go. Babe, you need to go to the guest room and see the way your friend messed up everywhere. So Sammy brought another girl into this house. Are you asking me? You should call him and ask him. Listen, babe. It's not enough reason for you to start getting upset. Okay? See, Sammy has been like this since school days. Babe, so I should applaud him for not having self-control? Listen, babe. I know Sammy would definitely change when he meets somebody as sweet as you. Babe, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. My own is that you should tell him to stop bringing in and sleeping with women in this house. It's not funny. Besides, he has a house for crying out loud. Eh? You need to go to that guest room and see on the ways everywhere. <laughs> Oh, What's funny? Yeah. Come on now, I've told you, okay? Chill, you don't need to be aggressive about it, okay? Something will change. That one is his business. My own is that you should stop bringing in women here. Okay, I would, I would call him and I'll tell him. Better. Meanwhile, go upstairs. You know the wardrobe beside the bed? Mm -hmm. That one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Open it. I have something there for you. It's a surprise, anyway. Hope you're not trying to bribe me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because me. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I stopped by and got you some clothes since you're still wearing my old clothes. Really? Yes, really. Ah, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I this really is so nice. Is. Of course. <laughs> thank you so much. I hope they fit you. Of course, it would. Um, Let me. Okay, I'll, I'll just quickly go try them on. Yes. Thank you. Bye. you. <laughs> No, no, don't, darling. Don't, darling. What's going on? With what? I didn't do anything. All I did was buy the poor girl clothes that she didn't have to wear in the first place. Exactly. Buy her clothes. As what? As who? I knew that you had been systematically trying to smuggle that girl into this house as our house help. All right. You, you know me. You know who I am. I, at this stage of my life, I don't want to live with anybody. All I'm asking for is your undivided attention as my wife. Yet you refuse to give me that. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down when you refuse to do what I ask you to do. I just want your attention. To, is it too much to ask? Is it too much to ask? It's not too much to ask. Then send that girl away. What? Do what I want and send her away. Babe, you know I can't do that right now. I can't throw out like that. Okay? I promise you I'm going to resolve it. I'm going to give you all you ask. Okay. Um, thank you. Again. You're welcome. I hope they fit perfectly. It was my perfect size. Okay, so what's thank going you. to happen is um, within the week, I'm going to get your phone and a SIM card so that we can communicate easily. A okay? phone? Thank you. That's so generous of you. Thank you. Oh, you. yeah. You're welcome. I need to get back to the office now. Okay. 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 You have a great day at Make work. Make sure you eat. And I will. Out. I will. 
I will eat. left. Yes, sugar. Oh, she looks so beautiful in this dress. Really? Yeah, I love you, Angela. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes. You're everything that I've always wanted. Mm, I like the sound of that. Uh, come here. Show me. Lucy, I'm so sorry. You know you're like a sister to me, you're my friend, so I come bothering you with my family issues. Mm -hmm. And I attend to you without collecting consultation fees. <laughs> what are friends for? Okay, so, um, I hate being at crossroads with my husband, but lately it seems like that is what he wants with this whole orphan girl thing going on. I don't understand. Shabi, I told you about the girl I brought home, the orphan girl. Mm -hmm. And I also told you how much my husband hates our gods and doesn't even want to see her anywhere around him. Right? Yes. <sighs> this morning, I went out and I got her clothes. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the moment he saw it, all hell let loose. He went berserk. He was even demanding that I send her out today, tomorrow. And it's slowly beginning to get on my nerves. Is that all? Yes. I'm in support of whatever it is your husband is doing. Yeah, because he's trying to protect you and whatever he feels for you. You need to be together with your husband because you don't have babies. So because I'm trying to have a child, I should kill myself. No, I should come and die, Abby. I don't think you know what I've been through these 12 years of marriage. We've been trying, but yes, he should try and put himself in my shoes. I need to be in the right frame of mind to be able to do this. Having a child is not the same as marriage. It is not. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. And it's becoming really, really, really annoying. Also, I feel like if one wants to have a child, one needs to be nice to other people's children. Angela could be good for us. She, she could bring us good luck. It could be good or bad luck. You just need to be careful. One more thing, Patricia. What is it, Lucy? The last time I went to your house and met your husband and Angela alone, mm -hmm. what I see between them is different from what you usually tell me. I don't understand. I think you need to watch your husband and Angela closely. They could always be in bad times whenever you are not around. Are you saying Donald and Angela are having an affair? Exactly. That's just what I saw. But anyway, you, you don't need to take my word for, for it. You just need to watch them carefully. I don't want to believe this. That's just your choice. But don't go confronting anyone until you are sure of what I've told you. Okay, um, thank you so much for your observation. I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah, no problem. But you need to chill, okay? Remember, you have a case tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Better be careful, cause someone might be following you. Be watchful, cause someone might be hurting. Be careful what you say and what you do. You better be careful, you can turn a good heart into a demon. Oh, there are actions and reactions. Uh, there are deeds and consequences. When someone shows you love, some care, some kindness, do not trample on their mercies and break their heart. You better be. Careful, cause someone might be following you. Be watchful, cause someone.
someone might be hurting. Be careful what you say and what you do. You better be careful. You can turn a good heart into a demon. Mm. Did you know I'm going to come tonight? Hey, no, I can't. I can't do a night without you. I can't spend a night without you. Baby, I love you so deeply. And I miss you so much. I miss you too. Yeah. I miss you more.
to tell what he knows. No one. The one you tell can hurt you tomorrow. The ones you hurt today can hunt you tomorrow. He said I should tell you that you should wait for him when you come. Of course, I'm going to wait for him. Alright. So, Jane, have you decided to accept my request? What request are you talking about? Please go off me. I mean my proposal. See, Jane, Tommy can never love you the way I love you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to make you happy. I'm going to take you around the world. I'll make you happy. Just be mine. Sammy, you are very, very stupid. You are very stupid. So this is it, right? No, how, how do you mean? I didn't, I didn't know you were inside. No wonder she has been telling me about how you dis, you've been disturbing her. But I've been here defending you, not knowing that you're such a coward. Listen. I need you to leave my house this moment and never return. Hey, come on, bro. I, I can never backstab you. I was just joking. Joking? Sammy, you... get out of my house. Come on, Tommy, you're my guy. I was hey. just joking with her. Don't brother me. I'm not your guy. If I'm your guy, you won't do this to me. Now, get out. Leave now, eh? We... Sammy, get out. Ungrateful friend. Please don't spoil my doll. Ah. Get out. And never you come back to this place again. Babe. I'm sorry. Okay, now you're sorry, right? At least you've seen things for yourself. That's fine. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to blame myself. And I don't want to regret ever extending a hand of love to Angela, but it's my husband that I blame. The fact that he cannot control or he doesn't have control over his emotions and he would stoop so low, I can't believe it. Unfortunately, he did. So what do you advise I do? What? Maybe I should just go home and just confront Donald and just throw the Angela girl to the street. No, Trisha, you're not going to do such a thing. Okay, so what do you advise I do? What? Because I can't stand seeing them together in the same house. Trisha, there could be more to this than we think. You need to look into this. Find out more before you blow your cover. Does that make sense to you? Hey baby. What's up, baby? Woo. Mm. Uh, 
Unless you had a good news for us. Okay. There's an abortion center close to the house, and you have more for 50 if you have patients or have me. I don't see how that is good news, because let's get a bad news. Hmm. The bad news. Bad news is that I am pregnant. Huh? Are you serious? Yes, that's why I said there's a good news that hey, your abortion center. That is no bad news. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is good news. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm listening. Make sure you get it done properly. I don't want any mistakes. Consider I don't. Hey, hey, babe. Come on. My wife just had an accident. And really? yeah, my attention is needed, yeah. That's so great. Um, are you going to go now? Yes. No? You can go later when we're done celebrating this good news. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, listen, allow her to sleep well. Don't allow anybody to come see her yet, except a relation. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, you can give her an injection when she wakes up. Okay. Uh, um, Mr. Zona, uh, yeah. I expected you to be here by now. I don't know what happened because I needed it to, to donate blood for your wife. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When I got the news, I was devastated. I, I didn't know what to do. And then traffic on my way here was crazy. So. Uh, uh, it's okay. Um, thank God you're here now. Okay. Um, what, where is she? How is she doing, please? Um, she, she's fine. She's in one of her work. Okay. And, and, and her injuries, I hope they were not too severe. <sighs> well, I'm afraid um, the accident affected her spine. Oh. And uh, she will place on a wheelchair. <sighs> Can I see her, please? Um, yeah, of course. Um, tell um, Nurse Doris we'll take you there. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you tomorrow. The ones you heard today can hunt you tomorrow. Better be careful, cause someone might be following you. Be Angela! Angela! Thanks, she's she needs your attention. I beg just forget her, Jerry. There are actions and reactions. Angela! Let me guess, you go check what she wants. Oh, no, 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 she doesn't need anything. She just needs your attention. I want you to stay here with me, baby. Angela! No, 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 okay? I'll go check on her myself. What's wrong with this lady? 
I'll be right back. Angela and I are here for you. For how long? I'm tired of depending on you people for every little thing. I, you guys have been through enough. I've put you through enough already. I just, it's okay. Just kill me, please. Stop. Just kill me and just put me out of my misery. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Stop. I'm tired. Stop. I just want to have peace. Stop talking like that. Come on. We're not complaining. Stop sounding suicidal, babe. Listen, <laughs> shh, you're going to get better. Okay? You sure? Yes. outside so she can get some fresh air. You know what? Like, I don't understand you. Why are you giving hope to a woman who wants to die? Hey, that's my wife you're talking about. Then who am I then? What am I to you? Your concubine or what? I didn't say that. Shh, I didn't say that. So why didn't you grant her a wish when she begged to die? Listen, you, Excuse. you don't have to die a woman die. She's going to die anyway. Why do you want to stain your hands with her blood? That's because I can't wait for her to die naturally. She has already asked you that she wants to die. Just do the needful. I don't know what's so difficult in that. Okay? If you don't do the needful, I am going to open my mouth and tell the world what's going on between us. And you are going to lose this baby. Shh, what are you saying? You heard me right. Angela. Yes. I'm sorry for everything that I put you through. I know you said you want to go and visit your family in Mexico. Yes. Please, Angela, when you go, come back to me. When you don't come back to me. I have willed everything I have to you and my husband when I'm gone. You're all that I have. It's 
it's okay. All right? I am not going anywhere. I am going to be here for you. Okay? You need to cheer up. Let me go get you something to drink. Okay? Why are you doing this to yourself? Huh? Your condition does not defy medical treatment, so why are you being so hard on yourself? Babe, cheer up. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Please. I don't think so, sweetheart. I don't think there's light at the end of any tunnel. Or this particular tunnel. I just want to end it, please. Why? I want you and Angela to have a better life. Listen, I have willed everything I own, everything I have to you and Angela. Open the door. Gone. Use it. Don't I'll just use it and put me out of my misery. Please use it. Look, you can make it look like a robbery. Ooh. You can make it look like an attack. Anything, just do it, please. What are you saying? Are you asking me to do this? Your own husband. Please. Kill you and make it look like an attack. Please. Tonight will be the best time to do it. I can't. Please. I'm sorry. Don't help. Please, please. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, George. <laughs> Why are you forcing her to leave when she doesn't want to? She has asked you to kill her. Babe, if you don't do it, I'm going to abort this baby. You want me to do something? It's cool. All you need to do is go to the room, take the gun, point it on her chest, and pull the trigger. Oh, Angela. This is my problem with you. Why do you keep saying no, 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 making excuses? Do you still love her? No. Fine. That's the reason why you have to do it. You're not doing anything wrong. Okay? She asked you to. Let's just do it. For us, you and I, I don't want to share you with nobody. And you're not doing anything wrong, okay? Because if you don't, I'm going to do it myself. Let me quickly get you some. Be careful what you say and what you do. You better be careful. You can turn a good heart into a demon. Oh, there are actions and reactions. Oh. There are deeds and consequences. Yes, we give it the Dutch courage that we need. Alright? Don't be panicking. You're doing the right thing. Alright? Are you sure you want me to do this? Yes! 100% my love. You're doing this for me. For us. Okay? It's you and I. I don't want any other woman to share you with me. Okay? Drink up, my love. You better be careful. You can turn a good heart into a demon. Take this. There are this will help protect you. Your fingerprints will not be on the gun. 
There are deeds and consequences. Oh, a little bit of chicken. Brave. Okay. You're one of the bravest men I know. You can do it. But hey, it's not your fault. She asked you to. Oblige her. Careful, right. someone might be following you. Let's go. Let's go on. Someone might be hurt when you be caught. Be careful what you say. Let's see. Let me see this yet. Okay. Better be careful. Okay. You can turn a good heart into a demon. Okay, I'm not there. Now, go in and do what's right. So you don't give yourself out to the police. Now the story will be, we came back home and we met her in the pool of her own blood. Do they believe us? It doesn't matter if they believe you or not. What matters right now is that we need to go to the police station and make a formal report before her body is deposited in the morgue. She's the enemy and I'm the lover you better be careful, you yeah. can turn a good heart into a demon. Oh. There are actions and reactions. Uh. There are deeds and consequences. When someone shows you love, Good afternoon, Donald. Where's Trisha? I don't even know what to say. She... She's dead. What? She, she came back and... We met her in the pool of her own blood and... We don't even know what to believe. We don't even know what to do. Oh my god. Dead? How? Has she been confirmed dead? We just wanted to go file a police report and then before we come to our family. Oh my goodness. Trisha. Can I can I see her dead body? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, let's just Oh. oh my goodness, Trisha. Still alive? Why? 
And there I was, thanking God that I've had the opportunity to kill the same person that killed my parents. After what you and Mr. Ezewafo did to my father and my mother led to their death? Do you think I enjoy staying in this house? I did that because I wanted to take my pound of flesh. How come, how come you are still alive when the bullet went straight in your heart? Well, thanks to the special agents here. They swapped the real bullets for the blanks. The real bullets Lucy left in the pistol so I could die. Lucy, how could you? You're supposed to be my friend. How could you do such a thing? After you came in here, crawling on your knees and begging me to forgive you that you had repented. I thought you had. Yes, you and I planned all of this to find out if my husband was truly involved with Angela here, suspected. But swapping the fake bullets for real ones so I could die? I... Shame on you, Lucy. Shame on you. One more thing. Darling, I cannot be held responsible for something I knew nothing of, okay? I am a lawyer. I was hired to do my job and I did it and I won. Say fini. Were you expecting me to keep quiet after you stole a client from me and you paraded yourself as the best lawyer in town? Remember, I wasn't even the one that shot you. Yes. You didn't shoot me, but you didn't have to. If they hadn't swapped the bullets, I'll be dead by now, wouldn't I be? I'll lose it. And to you, Donald. You know, yours actually hurts the most. So this is how long you can hold out for me. I had to go through all this length to fake an accident so that I can find out what you've been up to. All for what? This? This right here? Someone you couldn't even stand eating on the same table with? <laughs> you know what, officers? Please do your job. Okay. Mama. Let's wait. This is not over, okay? I hate you. Please take her out of my power. Please. Please, what are you waiting for? Take them out. Mm. Can you move? I enjoy prison, my darling. The heart of man is so deep, you cannot tell what it holds. No. The one you have can hurt you tomorrow. The ones you hurt today can hunt you tomorrow. Better be careful, cause someone might be following you.
Consequences when someone shows. 